Right, here we are today on another final, would you believe? And uh, this is the Shimano Aero Cup final. It's a big event in our thing and I'm going to talk to you in a minute about a man that will tell us a bit about it. And uh, But uh, what it is, there's been three matches, one at Barca, one at Allcroft and one here and you had to qualify for the final. And, uh, and, and the final is here at Lindo. Three lakes, Benny's, which you can see I'm on, um, Loco, which is that one there, the back of there, and then uh, Bonza, the famous Bonza. And I've drawn, I'm quite chuffed actually, on Saturday in one of the Golden Rod qualifiers. I didn't put a post, so that upset. I drew there. So that chap is there, he's, he's, where is he there, that chap there, he's 38 and I was in that corner, 36 in the feeder match. I was suicidal, honestly, I, caught, I think I caught a dozen F1s, it, I nearly didn't go. It's like, you just don't go there, it's just terrific, especially when this peg not drawn, so I was a bit disappointed on, on Saturday, in fact I was really disappointed. But today, I'm quite happy, believe it or not, I'm really happy. And I've drawn in the back bay again. But I've drawn 26, I can't see the peg, and 26 is in the back, there's only three of us, that one there, and this, and this 30, I'd have took any of them three to be honest with you, I'd have took that one up point, 51, and I'd have took this one here, 23, really, really happy, because on this lake, this time of year, all fish live, they just stay in the middle, and I've got it to be set, so I'm really chuffed, I think I've got a chance today, then big cat, don't feed on loco, uh, I think I've got a half a chance. But anyway, let, let's talk to somebody who's going to, who's behind me. My company today is horrific, honestly. I, I, What's my rod? The, uh, oh, I've just stood on a rod. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. Let's talk to Mr. Speed, Nicholas Speed. Now, not only have I got a week with him next week on the Freestyle World Championships, is that uh, I can boss him next week, so <laughs> I can... He, he, they all think they've had it easy up to, up to yet. But trust me, it hasn't even started yet. That's yeah. a, that's enough. So come on, Speedy. What are you drawing? Twenty one, aren't you? Twenty one. Twenty one. Happy mean, with that? What a beautiful day, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's it's a mediocre area. It's a great area, but there's better pegs in this area. But I feel as if I'm in the match. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. That's, you know, how, that's how I feel. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's the top five were paying out big yeah. money. Yeah. So I feel as if actually it's a possible framing peg. Yeah, absolutely. I think it and, is. Um, yeah. I'd want to be on Benny's own loco today. Uh, nice warm day. Yeah. Hopefully Lovely, catch. Isn't it? Are you having top off today? Yeah, not yeah. quite warm enough for yeah. that. I bet, yeah. you, I bet you do next week though, don't you? Yes, definitely. But well, no, actually, I'll be proud to wear a red t-shirt, but whenever I get a chance, yeah, I'll have the top off. Right, uh, right. It's not allowed internationally, you know. What's that? Bare top? Top off. That means you're enjoying said too much. <laughs> So, <laughs> I don't like you to enjoy you yeah. said too much. Yeah. So. My main aim today is obviously to beat you. Yeah. And uh, oh, it's going to be our work beating 23 and 21, but look, you just don't yeah. know, mate. No, you, you never know. Come on, tell me about this uh, Shimano Aero Cup. <clears throat> right, okay. So, it's been three qualifiers, top 15 from each of the qualifiers going through. Yeah. So, that's basically five You're from each. really a big chance of that. Yeah, I think it's a great format. Five mm. from each 20 peg zone. So, rather than your normal qualifiers where you've got to win your zone. Yeah. You've got to come in your top five, and I think that opens it up for I a lot love of people. It. I'll be honest with you, yeah. And I think that's why it's been popular, and it was the first year last year, uh, and it just, I think just proves how popular it is because all the tickets are sold really quickly. Yeah. And there's room for improvement for next well, year. Well, even now, I bought mine really quick because I knew they'd go quick. Yeah, so. well, we've got, an, an, we're going to add another qualifier to the format next oh, year. There you go, look, look. So there's going to be 60 in the final next year. Right. Um, and we're gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what venue we're gonna pick, but we've got a good idea where we're gonna go a little bit further down south, not too far, in the Midlands still, but just opening the the map up for the anglers further down south that might wanna compete right, and, okay. and qualify. But yeah, it's been a great event. So, and then the winner's gonna cut, get a cool Aero Ledger Cup, uh, big trophy, and 4,000 pounds. Wow, that's awesome, you know, I can and just And we're paying the top that. five out, so right, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Look at that just top deal, just peg looks like it, we're gonna choke. No, that was somebody's feed of that, mate. Right, so... <laughs> so, anyway, you ready for next week? That's the main thing. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, good. We can't go wait. There, and, so. you know, spend so much time, I think we've all really communicated with each other, but also spent so much time just 
getting ready. I know. It's, it's going to be a great week. This is something people don't understand about the how much time and effort you have to put in getting ready, getting organised and everything like, like that. The last three days I have done nothing but sit in my work room, tying hooks and yeah. preparing yeah. to tackle. Yeah, I know. And this is, it's only a feeder event. Yeah, I know. You know, on paper. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, but, it's, it, but it's not just a feeder event. It's, uh, it, it's you know, it's, um, it's different things, but yeah. good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. I'll find out next week if it's light or not. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Right, so anyway, my opinion. So, I'm going to fish it. Well, I really fancy this, I'll be honest with you, I do. I think if 80 to 100 pound wins it, I think I've got a chance. And I'm just going to fish just there. I've got a lovely edge there, side of that little bush. Just down there. What's up, mate? Five rods. Five rods, two bomb, two feeder, and a feeding rod, straightforward. Oh, my new marvelous range. Yeah, ten foot light like carp, ten foot light like carp. I'm gonna have two carp rods, marvelous carp rods already set up, and that's my feeding rod. So I'm on the marvelous rods. I'll be out in New Year, um, commercial ones. So all roughly around hundred quid, and, uh, and you can see I'm all organised and everything. And uh, can't wait to chuck it on. So I can't tell you. I'm really, really chuffed, honestly. They're arguing about with the chucking. Not rule it well, they're arguing with the chucking. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable, Jeff. So, my bait is just there you go, look. I've got my energy drink, look. See that? Uh, best energy drink on market, I've got that. And uh, I've got my other energy drink there. The micros, corn, two lots of pellets. Straightforward. And I've got my sinkers as milk bait. Straightforward. And I've got a lot of room, but I'm really, really happy with this, so I'll let you know how we get on. Well, that's the end of the Shimano Aero Cup. And uh, what we got? 33 nice F1s. Um, that'll go the average two and a half. And then I've got six or seven little F1s, like four or six ounces and half a dozen skimmers. So I reckon I'm 90 pounds, 90 to 95 pounds. Hey? What? Yeah. I'm just asking them what I'm caught on. And basically, I started there, just in the middle there, just short middle, on the hybrid, didn't catch out, and I lose feeding pellets there, six mils and fours. And uh, after an hour, I only got three, I was really struggling. I lose feeding some up here and all. And I'm like, nobody really catching out. And then I've chipped bomb down there. Not caught, went back, back on feeder, went back on bomb and bombed the pellet and caught a few and an odd fish just out of the blue, couldn't really get up. And that lad's chucked up there, got one to chuck for an hour. And uh, I've chucked it there, couldn't catch one. Now, whether that's because wind were blowing in, I don't know. And last hour and a half, I've gone back there, loose feeding pellets, it's been daft, couldn't get in quick enough sometimes. And I've got 33 nice F1s, he's got 36, but I don't know he's counting his little ones in that. So I think it's going to be close between me, him, and lad on 51. Uh, we've all got 30 odd. I reckon I've 90 to 95 pound. Whether that's got enough, we'll soon find out. But yeah, so straightforward as that really. I've um, just caught a ten, my 10 foot marvellous light carp, which will be probably one of the best rods ever made since the F1. Honestly, it's absolutely awesome. When they come out, you've got to have a look at them. So yeah, I've lost three or four, but I've had like 45 fish, so I can't really grumble. 90, 95 pounds, see how we go, let you know. From uh, Bonsai, 23 to 40, is Alex Doherty from 70 pound 40. Hello. Hello. Section 44 to 65, David Wood. Woody! Well done, Woody! Uh, right, next section 68 to 82, Paul Wright from Peg 70 with 8115. Well done, Paul. Right, 
Loco now, 4 to 19, uh, Chris Norman from Peck 4 with £60.7. <laughs> It must have been solid. 23 to 36. Steve Topley pegged 25 with 49 pounds. Well done. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, right, next section. 38 to 46. Rob Warren from Peg 38 well with 72 pounds. Well done, Rob. Well done. Well Well then, Roberto. Right, next section. Benny's 2 to 12. Ollie Stringer, Peg 12, with 67. Well done. <laughs> Got him sharing with him. Next section, 14 to 37. Uh, Tom Pickering, Peg 26. Oh, <laughs> An old man throw. Thanks, mate. Thanks, pal. <laughs> 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 right, oh, cheers, X. Right, Tommy. Chinese tonight. Yeah. Uh, Chinese tonight. Uh, Benny's 48-57. Max again. Ex-champion. Well done, Max. Reigning champion. What's it out? Uh, Peg 51, 66 pound, mate. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment, I must admit. Right. Can you uh, stop moaning? No, I'm not moaning. All you do is moan. I'm wrapped up. So, fourth and fifth gets money, the top three get checked. So, obviously, leave your details for the top three before you go this evening so we can afford you the money. Uh, right, fifth place is Brad Hughes from Loco Peg 17 with £95.15. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done, mate. First start again. <clears throat> Story of my life. <laughs> right, fourth place uh, from Benny's Peg 6, £99.7, Mara. Well done, Mara. <laughs> So third overall from Loco Peg 34 with 101 pound five ounces, picking up one pound two hundred fifty quid. Simon Fry and Well on Sai. Well done, Steve. Well done, mate. Well done, Steve. Well done, mate. Well done. And of course, the splendid trophy, mate. Yes. All that pride. Right, just back, gutted, fed up. Oh, so.
sometimes you just want to smash your tattle up. I've had 94 pound sevens, a 95, a 99, a 101, a 117 and 130 pound one. It's all well done, mate. So I finished six and uh, guess what? They pay five. So I won a section default with 94 pound. Good haircut. I couldn't, I couldn't have won it. <laughs> Perhaps not come second. Could have been third, 101 pound. Wanted like another, what, three F1s at most. And uh, so I should have got it money. I needed one more to get it money. So uh, a bit disappointed, really. I thought I was going to get money easy. So, um, and the best things is don't believe anybody. They ain't caught out on Van Dyne. They ain't caught out on Loco. Oh, yeah. So it's it's what it is, but end of the day you'd probably take that before it starts. So ninety four pounds. So I've had a nice thirty three F ones, you know, decent sized ones, and I've had six or seven little ones, like four six ounce, four or five six skimmers. So I thought I'd ninety to ninety five pound away ninety four. So um, so we're not far. So not to come, but great event. I must admit, fantastic event. And it's uh, you listen to see it speeding. It's going to get uh, a bit bigger next year, so that's fantastic. It was well organised. David Ains this morning did a great job. Speedy did his usual speech, and uh, thanks to uh, Neil and Aaron for putting sandwiches on after free of charge. So that were so in, all in all, it was a great day, good event. Great to see some people, some new lads. I know uh, Glyn came up from uh, down south. I've seen him for a long time. So and Sean, Sean Stenton, they they've been up. So it was nice to see them and have a chat with them. Um, so that's it now, match-wise, uh, or in England anyway. So we're just uh, getting ready now for freestyle. We go on Sunday, come back on f week of Monday, and then on Friday again we're off to Italy. So I've got a lot to do. And that's why I've been fishing many matches. I've just been getting ready for these two World Champs events. So because um, we're like really, really busy. So uh, we're all I'll be doing now is kit all over the house, get it ready. So I've got to get my stuff ready for for Italy before I go to Spain so because I'm only back two days and we're off again so uh, it, it's going to be tiring but hopefully it'll be worth it so right looking forward to it and uh, and what you need to do I will be giving you up updates all the time when we're in Spain next week so make sure you subscribe because it'll ping through as it comes on uh, we're, we're reports so uh, but no no good I'm a bit disappointed I want to my section so I've got a little um a little Chinese or something, uh, but uh, like I said, I'm a bit disappointed actually. Um, but uh, it's what it is. I, and I took £94 before it starts, so that's where it was, isn't it? Have a great night, and we'll keep you up to date with the Freestyle World Championships uh, where uh, Ringer Bates, Team England, and Dragon will be uh, going over there to hopefully win a gold medal. We'll be doing his best, I can assure you of that. <laughs>